All right, so here's another update. Um, just, you know, why I did my water change this morning. So I did some trimming and the water's a little cloudy, as you can see. The Rotala, new growth's coming in. Hopefully it grows the way I want it to in that bush that I'm trying for. Uh, I'll go over here. So you can see a lot of new growth coming in. I think it'll be all right. It was a little nerve-wracking taking that all down as, as far as I did, but I've seen other people do it. And, I mean, obviously we all know this stuff, again, I said it before, it can grow in battery acid, so I think we'll be all right. Kimberly's looking great. Good colors. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks good. Colors look good. Even after cutting it and, um, you know, uh, trimming it and then replanting it, taking taking the the rooted stuff out and planting the tops. It's still looking good. The Renicki, I butchered the hell out of it, so most of the stuff here looks okay. Don't know if it looks great. Don't know how good it's going to grow, but still have my hopes up. Monte Carlo, I trimmed pretty heavily, but not enough. Definitely not enough. It was such a mess when I so I, what I did was I took the water down to fifty percent, and then I trimmed it, and it was a huge mess. It was such a pain in the butt to clean out all those trimmings. So I'm gonna have to do it again. I think next week do the same thing and just go lower and lower and lower because I mean, you can see how thick that stuff is down here. I mean, I don't know how far I'm supposed to go down. I mean, it, it looks healthy and thick now, but I don't know how. How thick you're supposed to keep these carpets? You know, all tanks look different, but I don't know the the proper procedure. So I, but I think I should go down a little lower than that. But I mean, it looks healthy. I mean, it is healthy. So I guess we'll see what happens next week. I'll do it again, but again, it was such a mess. It probably took me an hour. Trimming was easy. Cleaning all the trimmings out of the tank was a pain in the butt just constantly waiting for them to float to the top and netting them out you know using like a big brine shrimp net to just net them out it was a pain in the butt um so i'll jump over here real quick the verbreeps or uh, the love i was gonna, I'm just going to call it love wig yeah the colors are coming out real good as it's coming up to the top i cut a bunch of them out for a package i just put i, I, I have a bunch of things i put into a package I'm, um i hate throwing plants out so I just, you know, make them cheap and if somebody wants them, great. If not, I guess I have to throw them out, whatever. But uh, I'm going to be cutting off some more of these for that package. But they're looking, they're looking good. I see as they come, I don't know if they're, if it's that they're coming closer to light, the colors are coming out. If it's because I've changed my microdosing. Because some of the lower ones are even getting color. So maybe it's the micro, maybe it's the extra iron. You know, they're looking pretty good. These guys are looking good. Good, sorry. Um, I, I'm i assuming I trim these like other stem plants. I take the tops off, you know, whatever, you know, an equal portion. And then re remove the roots and replant them. I don't know. What do you guys do? Do you guys just trim them at the bottom? The roots, they can grow new plants from the, the stumps and also just plant the tops. Let me know what you guys do with these. As you can see, I haven't plant, uh, trimmed them much since they started growing, uh, and they're growing great now. Uh, but I'll tell you what, they work as a great um, uh, mechanical filtration. When I was cleaning them today, I had to go through and clean, when I was cleaning the tank today, I had to go through and clean each stem out. It was, they were picking up all of the leaves that are floating around. Oh, seriously, they make a great mechanical filtration. So. They're just a pain in the butt to clean up. It's probably why they look a little beat up because I was uh, going through them, picking all the leaves out of them. Sunset. Let's do it, but I took out the ones that were dying. Oh, yeah, I missed some algae there on the leaves. But uh, otherwise, I think they're doing okay. I don't know what happened to those two stems that just started the droop and die, I think uh, Burr said. Uh, definitely. 
and that's exactly what happened. They just melted, melted away, just leaves just started popping off of them. The repens are doing great. I, I moved some, I, I pulled some out that they're going in the package too. Uh, I pulled some out that were growing, growing too close to the indica. They're growing into the indica. I'm um, actually going to be pulling a few more out for the package, probably just to round this group up. Just make it look a little more controlled. Probably those two front ones I'll pull out. Um, I also trimmed, a, not a great job, but pulled a lot of the Monte Carlo out from around some of the plants. Is that algae down there? Yes, it is. So maybe I will just pull these, at least the front ones out, pull them out, pull the roots out, and just replant the tops. Maybe I'll do it to all of them, I don't know. So for the most part, things are looking great. And again, the indica, I don't know why. It's, it's a slow grower, but it seems impervious to algae. It just, the algae doesn't touch it. And I, I don't get it between that and other slow growers. Why? It doesn't touch the indica, but it ravages the Ranicki. Very strange. Maybe because this is healthy and that's not. So that's about it for now. You can see everything's looking good. I, I trimmed a lot on the left, so the right looks it's a little uneven right now. But let me know how you guys think I should trim this. And a butterfly. I might know where, I don't even know where I'm putting that yet. So let me know you guys think how I should trim it. And I will take anyone's advice. Please, I, I encourage, I, I, I'm asking for advice. So, all right, thanks guys.